welcome back to vlogmas week two so we've got a bit of a different setup today because i am actually in london and um, i've come down for um, my management's christmas party which i am very excited about um so it is now like midday on wednesday um, and we've actually just checked in uh, the room wasn't meant to be ready until like three but luckily it was ready early um so i'm staying at the treehouse hotel in london um it's just off regent street and it's absolutely beautiful i'm just staring out at the most gorgeous view so i shall give you a bit of a room tour in a minute um so today's plan is to do a little bit of shopping and then we have a restaurant booked later for lunch um, and then i'm going to come back fairly early have a very leisurely um getting ready situation um, i might even do a get ready with me potentially we'll see how much time i have um but yeah i will show you the room now so this is the view I was talking about. It's so gorgeous. Um, so you've got Regent Street down there. You can see the London Eye in the distance. It's gonna take me about seven years to zoom back out, but there you go. So, so nice. And then I love this, oh shit, I'm nearly falling over there. Ow, it just whacked me knee. Um, we've, got the, <laughs> we've got this cute little seat set up here. Aiden, who is freeloading for the free room. He won't be coming to the party, but he's gonna go and meet his friends later. Um, and then we've got the bed, obviously. Oh, a full length mirror. I feel like so many hotels forget to add in a full length mirror. So I always really appreciate it when they do. Um, so this is today's outfit. My um, jumper is from Zara. And then I've got this new uh, like leather midi skirt on from Because of Alice. Um, I'm sure lots of you follow Alice Olivia on Instagram and this is her brand. Um, she very kindly sent me this and it's absolutely gorgeous. I actually have it in um, black linen from the summer. Um, I took it away with me and I loved it. So I went for this skirt and also a trench coat as well, which is really beautiful. Um, I didn't bring it with me, but I will show you that some other time. And then I've got on my um, knee high boots, which are from Carell Paris um, honestly I wear these all the time I've literally not had them off my feet since they arrived um, and then through here we have the bathroom which is so nice a huge mirror and then oh really fancy hand products as well and then behind here we have the shower which is absolutely huge um, I love the tiles as well. I also had my hair done yesterday, um, so I'm looking very blonde. I had these little bits cut in as well, so I can like have them like slightly curled when I've got my hair up. Um, yeah, I'm really loving them. But we're just gonna head out now, and I will probably vlog when I um, get to the shops. So we are just outside Chanel, and we just had the very difficult task of trying to shoot my outfit. Um, obviously it's really busy, but we got there in the end and I'm pretty sure we got the shot. Um, so now, what's the plan now? Should we go shopping for a bit? Uh, yeah. We have just been into Zara because I needed to um, try and find some shoes and some earrings for tonight because my outfit isn't very festive. So I wanted to like jazz it up with a little bit of a like a sparkly shoe or something. Um, so that was mission successful as well. So yeah, the plan is now to head back to like Oxford Street, Regent Street area um just have a look in a few shops and then we have a lunch booking for some pasta i woke up this morning i looked outside my window with children lighting up the christmas tree and the snow is falling Reminds me of the good times Those winters we would spend Just you and me It's been such a long time But tomorrow's Christmas Day And I am on my way I'm coming home for Christmas Yes, I'm coming home to you so if you've got a red theme on your tree, they have the most gorgeous baubles. I love these like paper style ones. Oh, and we actually have these, don't we? We have these from our tree a few years ago. Um, when I eventually have a house and more than one tree, they will definitely be going back out. Ooh, they have green as well. I don't know if I would quite like to get something. 
really cute little um, like neutral Christmas cushions. I love these little dishes as well. They'd be cute for like keys by your door or for like jewellery, your earrings or something. They've got the like plates and um, what are they called? Is that, what is that called? Like what? a combination of like plates and bowls. I'm sure there's Get a word for that. Know. You are? Uh, crockery. Crockery. We've got the crockery um, that we've been wanting for ages. It's always sold out online. Um, but I don't know how we'd actually get these home. Like, like well, there's no way. Yeah, no. In the tree. But they're so nice. I love this little table setting too. So festive. Oh, how much I missed you. Wanna spend this day with you Yes, I'm coming home to you Ooh. I can't wait to hold you We'll be sitting by the fire And watch our favorite movies on TV we can So we've timed it perfectly because it's just started absolutely flipping it down um, but we have come to Banconi. How would you pronounce that? Banconi. Yeah, that's how it's Banconi for lunch, which is a pasta restaurant we've wanted to try for ages. It's a Aperol spritz, even though it's not really spritz season, but you know, it's my absolute fave. Um, and yeah, we've got some delicious food on the way. So starters have arrived. Um, we went for the salami and the crispy cabbage. Looks delish. So, um, main type of red. I went for the silk handkerchiefs, which I think is like their like signature dish. So on that I came across on Instagram. This looks so nice. And then Aiden got the lobster, what is it? Big potini. Lobster big potini, yeah, with uh, comfit tomato. Ooh, yummy. guys good morning um sorry i am the worst vlogger in the world and completely forgot to speak to you last night i planned on giving myself a really long time to get ready um but ended up being in a massive rush as per usual but it is obviously the next day now and we are just about to check out of our room i'm looking so tired today like the bags are real um, I don't know why, but now if ever I drink, I just wake up in the middle of the night and I am awake for hours and I just cannot get back to sleep. I think it's all in my head, but it's been happening for like the past year now and I just cannot kick the habit. So that's really annoying and I woke up at six this morning, which was brilliant. Um, but yeah, I thought I would show you my outfit before I go. Um, I'm wearing my mango blazer from my last haul, which I just love so much. And then I've got a um, cashmere blend roll neck on from H&M. It's got this little finger hole detail, which will be much appreciated today because it is freezing outside. Um, and then, in fact, I'll just go into the mirror. 
so yeah i've also got on my um zara belt uh, now i've just put a little elastic band on either side to hold this in place i asked in one of my videos if anyone had any hacks for keeping the belt in place and someone actually suggested this um i do think i need to go for black <laughs> elastic bands though because you can definitely see it but it will do for now um and then i've got on some leggings from h&m and of course my corel boots the view is looking even more beautiful today. Um, it's like bright blue skies, but absolutely freezing. I just sat here and did my makeup with this view on this cute little seat. And it was such a lovely way to get ready, actually. I wish I could do that every single day. So we are just heading to Harrods and um, we decided to walk since it is such a nice day and it only took like five minutes longer than it would have if we got the tube. Um, but we are walking through Hyde Park and it's just so pretty. Um, the last time we were here, was that when we went to Winter Wonderland? Yeah, it was. Winter Wonderland. A couple of years ago. Before yeah, 2019, 2018. You didn't rate it, did you? No, it's not as good as Manchester markets, no way. I actually don't think it is, you know. I think Manchester is better than Winter Wonderland. It's bigger, but it's not better. I don't think it is, because like, in Manchester it's all through the streets. Um, we want to go to Edinburgh, don't we? Uh, wait, wait, wait. We're gonna Which get way? To the How far are we away? Uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, I really need to get some sunglasses, because I want to shoot my outfit, and this is just not a vibe. My skin is also having a bit of a meltdown at the minute, which just really isn't ideal. But I guess, I'm guessing the only sunglasses options at Harrods are going to be designer sunglasses. But we'll see because there is a pair from Celine that I have been looking at. So if they have them and they suit me, I might just treat myself. It's cold outside. for my 25th in a couple of months. I love this new one as well. So I'm absolutely starving and we have um, just got our first dishes at Gold in Notting Hill. These look absolutely delicious. I've been wanting to try this restaurant for a while. It looks so, so good. So we went for the, um, like, the char grilled. Yeah, yeah. Or wood, no, it's wood, wood roasted. Uh, wood roasted. Wood roasted aubergines. This is the burrata with ham and it just looks so, so good. It's got pears with it as well. Um, yeah. Roasted pears, like so. Real. And then my cocktail, this was like, got like gin and aperol in it, so good, going down the street. <laughs> So it has been a good while since I last picked up the camera to talk to you. Um, I believe I last vlogged in London. Um, we had the nicest time. It was so nice to be there. It was really, really festive everywhere, which really got us into the Christmas spirit. Um, but on the last day, what did we do? Oh, we went to Harrods. Um, it was a very brief trip to Harrods in the end because once we got there, we realised we didn't have long until our restaurant reservation. So we just had a look um, in Celine and we briefly popped into Chanel in Celine. They had some sunglasses, which I really loved um, and was very tempted to buy. But I've recently bought some Bottega sunglasses, so it was a few months ago now, um, and they are tortoise shell and the ones I wanted from Celine were also tortoise shell. So I just thought it probably wasn't the best idea to buy another pair of sunglasses 
um, and just save my money. So yeah, I didn't get anything. And then we went to Notting Hill, we went to Gold, um, which was such a nice restaurant. It's a very nice vibe in there, really, really great interiors. Um, the food was really good and the service was really good too. So I would definitely recommend going there. Um, and then after that, we just like rushed to get our train home. Um, we did have a bit of an issue with the trains and delays and blah, 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 blah. But we got home in the end, came home to our little sausage dog, which was so, so nice. And yeah, it is well over a week later now. But I thought I would pop on because I am working with Naked over on Instagram and I've got a big haul of stuff um, which I really wanted to show you. I'm obviously not obliged to say anything over here but um, I really, really love everything in the order. I picked up so many nice things. So what have you got? What is that? Excuse me, sir. Don't walk away from me. Are you going to be loud and rustle whilst I'm trying to film this? What do you think? Oh. What do you think? Are you going to be a good boy? Okay. Um, yeah, so... What was I saying? So yeah, I got so many nice things from Naked, so I thought I would show you. Now, I do have a discount code, which I think is Lily... Lily C20, but I'll pop it across the screen, and that ends on Sunday the 19th of December, so you should have near enough a week to use that. Um, but yeah, so the first pieces I went for are these. Um, so I got this really nice basic camel jumper. This is such a soft material. Um, I think it's viscose mostly. So it is really, really soft and comfortable. Um, but yeah, it's like a ribbed jumper. And it's got like a high neck. I love this neckline. You've probably heard me talk about this neckline before. But it's my fave because it's obviously high, but it's not so high that you're going to get makeup all over your collar. Um, and yeah, it's just a thin knit, ribbed. Um, I went for an extra, extra small in this and I would say it is true to size. Um, but yeah, I just think this is a really great basic to have in your wardrobe. Um, we'll go with absolutely everything and I know I'll get a lot of wear out of this. Um, and then I also picked up these leather trousers, which are absolutely insane. Um, so they are high-waisted and then they're like a semi-wide leg, but I'd say more of a straight leg. I personally think this is the perfect leg width because um, they're not too wide, but they are still like a wide leg trouser. Um, and then lengthwise, I am wearing heels currently. So I think these are around like four inches and they are absolutely perfect. Um, I have also tried these on with my heeled boots. Um, I've got like some pointed toe heeled boots and they worked fine with those as well. I am wearing a 32 in these, which I believe is a UK four. So that is my regular size and they fit absolutely perfectly. And then the next piece I picked up is this cream long sleeved crop top. Um, now you definitely can't see because the lighting is awful, but it has a like sparkly thread running through it, which is so nice. Um, it's quite minimal, so it's not like too in your face or anything, but it is great for this time of year. Um, yeah, apologies for the lies, by the way, because it is an absolutely miserable day outside and it has been all week. So we've just got to work with it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, hopefully you can see everything okay. So the neckline on this is really simple, but then if you look at the back, let me move my hair out of the way. God, that's a struggle. Um, it's got a like tie detail and then a cutout, um, which is so nice. I really love it. I would wear it exactly like I am right now with some wide leg trousers and then a blazer over the top. Um, I think I will wear this out for dinner when we go back home. Um, and yeah, it is so cute. And this is from the Moa Matson collaboration with Naked. Um, a lot of the pieces are actually, I think these are two. Um, but she just did the nicest collection of like neutral pieces, which is very up my street. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. It is double layered. Obviously, you can't wear a bra, but... Um, I would just wear nipple covers with this and you would be absolutely fine. And then I also picked up a blazer um, and this is just the absolute perfect shade of beige. It's also from the Moa Matson collection so it is a very similar colour to the top. 
um, but it is a oversized fit and it's in the nicest fabric as well. It's like a woven fabric, um, so it's quite thick. It's lined, obviously. And yeah, I went for a 34 in this, so I did size up once. Um, and I do think the 32 would have been fine, so I would say just go true to size. You don't need to size up for an oversized fit, um, but I do love the way it fits anyway, and I love an oversized blazer, so yeah, it's perfect. And then it's got really nice buttons as well, so they're like a, not a tortoise shell, but like a beige with like a bit of a white pattern detail on them. God, I'm terrible at explaining things. Um, but yeah, overall, a absolutely gorgeous blazer. Um, I'll definitely get a lot of wear out of this one as well. Um, it did come in black and it also has matching trousers, which I didn't pick up, but now I am wishing that I did. And then I also picked up a pair of jeans. So again, these are a high-waisted wide leg fit. Again, they're a really great um, width on the legs. I went for a lighter denim wash in these. They did come in various other colours as well. Um, now, normally I would tend to stay away from a light wash in winter, but because these are more of like a dressy pair of jeans that I would wear on like a night out, um, I think this would look really nice with like a black bodysuit and a black blazer, keeping it really simple. Um, and I think you can get away with them in the winter if you are wearing them like that. But I love the wash of them. They are such a perfect tone. Um, I'm wearing a 32 again in these. I would say if you are in between sizes, I would size down. Um, but yeah, they fit really well. I could do with them being maybe like an inch shorter as they are pretty much floor length with heels um, but it's not enough that I would uh, like chop the bottom off normally if jeans are too long I will just make them into a raw hem and just like chop a bit of the length off but with these I think I can still get away with it so as you might be able to tell it is now the next day and um, it just got so dark last night so I just thought I may as well pick up where I left off today and show you the rest of the items now um, so the next piece is a coat I picked up a couple of coats um, from naked because I literally just can't resist them coats are my absolute weakness um, but I absolutely love this one so it is this like oatmealy mild beige um, it's kind of like a trench coat style so you've got like the flap here you've got these oversized lapels which I love um, and then it's got some buttons in the same color as the coat obviously you've got the tie belt and then it is a really good length like midi coat um, now this one is a wool blend so it is gorgeous quality and um, really thick like a very good winter coat if you are on the lookout for like a beige classic um, winter coat that will see you through the absolute bitter coldness of January and February um, then this would be a really good one to go for um, now I am wearing a 32 in this and I would say it comes up pretty oversized so you don't need to size up um, and I could definitely fit some like chunky knits under here as well I just think this is absolutely gorgeous I don't know why I keep like trying to put my hand in my pocket and failing but just ignore that um, but yeah an absolutely gorgeous coat and I will also just show you undone now and here is what it looks like unbelted um, so as you can see it is quite an oversized fit and I would say like quite a slouchy silhouette as well um, but yeah I just think it is the most gorgeous colour and I love these like trench coat detailings and then just to show you what I am wearing underneath, um, because this is actually the same as the camel jumper I showed you yesterday, um, but obviously just in cream. Um, I just think this is such a great basic to have in your wardrobe. Um, it also came in like a muted, like khaki, sagey green, which I think I'm going to order as well because I just love a good basic. And then the second coat I picked up, I am absolutely obsessed with. Um, this was a bit of a risky order because it said on the website it was a maxi coat. Um, and obviously I am very short at five foot two. So I was worried that it was going to be too long for me, but it actually works perfectly for how I wanted to wear it, which was 
basically over the top of night out outfits. Um, I found that I've been missing a like a formal coat um, to wear over the top of like mini dresses or like wide leg trousers and bodysuits um, with heels when I go out. And this is absolutely perfect for that. So at the minute I've just got it on with this black mini dress, which I will show you in a minute, and some knee high boots. And you can see it's probably like a couple of inches off the floor. Um, but I absolutely love the style of this coat. Um, it's very kind of like masculine, very boxy. Um, I love the shade of cream. It's like the perfect shade. It's not too yellow, it's not pink. Um, you've got these kind of like pearly buttons, which are so nice. And I just think it looks so classic, so chic. Um, now this also came in black, which would be so beautiful as well. Um, but I just couldn't resist the cream shade. And then I I also picked up a new scarf. Um, so this is just a really classic long scarf with tassels at the bottom and it is honestly so soft. I was really not expecting it to be as soft as it is but I could actually just stand here and stroke this all day. Um, and both of these pieces, the coat and the scarf, are from the Moa Matson collection. So the tones match perfectly. Um, the only thing I would say about this coat is that it does pick up bits of fluff really easily. Um, I went out to shoot these two pieces together yesterday. And yeah, there are little bits of fluff on the coat from the scarf. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing to bear in mind about this combo. But obviously, unless you're wearing them together, you're not going to have that problem. Um, but yeah, I just love this. I think this would make a great Christmas present and it's just a really nice wintry piece. And then underneath the coat, I just have on what looks to be a very classic LBD. Um, it is ribbed, it's got a nice high neck um, and yeah, just a long sleeve dress. But this is very much a um, Billy Ray business in the front party in the back situation because as you can see, it is a very low back. I absolutely love this. I think this is so gorgeous. Um, yeah, it comes like right, right down and then it's like just attached at the top. I don't know if you can see because of my hair. Um, but I love a low back. Um, I don't really often wear dresses that show off like my boobs because I don't have any, but I really do like a low back dress and I just think this is great. It's the perfect little classic number for winter. Obviously, I've just got it on with knee-high boots, but you could dress this up more with heels and then put a blazer over your shoulders and then whip it off and you've got this incredible low back scenario. And then I also picked up a little cord. Um, so this is like a champagne-y kind of shimmery crinkle shirt and wide leg trouser combo. Um, now it could do with a bit of a steam because I had this tucked into something yesterday. So um, it is quite creased, but this is so beautiful. It's kind of like a super dressy, floaty loungewear set. Um, I think if you are having a night in with the girls over Christmas, then this would be the perfect perfect outfit. Um, it also came in like a silvery grey colour which was gorgeous too but obviously I opted for the um, champagne beige version. Um, I love the oversized like long cuffs on this. I think that makes it look so expensive. Again it's got the nicest buttons. They're just kind of like a shimmery um, champagne colour as well. Um, and yeah, the trousers I would say to size down in. Um, I'm wearing a 32 and they do come up quite big. They've got this um, kind of hidden waistband, um, so they're not elasticated, but yeah, I would say they do come up a little bit on the bigger side. Um, and then lengthwise, I do have them on with heels, but I probably would wear them just like barefoot um, around the house. So yeah, the length doesn't really matter, but they are fine on me with heels. And then the shirt um, is quite an oversized fit. I went for a 34, um, but if you do like a really super oversized fit, then you could size up in this and it would be fine. And then just to show you, I also think um, the shirt looks really nice, kind of like half tucked into the trousers. Um, and then obviously you could definitely wear this shirt um, separately. Um, I'm just gonna show it you with a sequin skirt in a minute, but I also shot it for my Instagram tucked into the wide leg leather trousers um, that I showed you yesterday. And I think that looked so nice together. And then the final piece I have to show you is the most gorgeous sequin skirt. 
Um, so it is like a champagne-y colour underlay and then it's got the silver sequins um, and then it's got this gorgeous like wrap detail so it comes through and has this big long hanging piece which I love so much um, and I've got it with the and I've got it on with the And then the final piece I have to show you is the most stunning sequin skirt. Honestly, I am such a sucker for a sequin skirt this time of year. And this is just absolutely beautiful. So it is a like nudie coloured underlay and then it's got the silver sequins. You've got this um, like wrap detail that comes through and hangs down, which is just so pretty. And then I have just got it on with the champagne shirts from before. And I think these two look so nice together this will be a, such a pretty new year's eve look i may actually wear this on new year's eve although i am staying in with friends so i might opt for the um cohort instead for like a slightly more casual look um something i forgot to mention about this by the way is that it is quite sheer i actually thought you might be able to see a bra through it but as you can see, I've just got a nude strapless bra on and you can't see it at all. So it works perfectly with nude underwear, um, but otherwise it is quite sheer. And then the skirt I am wearing in a 36, which I think is a size 8. Um, and I have just got it pinned at the back because it was the only size they had left in stock. But I just loved it so much, so I wanted to order it. And I will just have this altered. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I would definitely recommend if you are looking for a festive outfit or something to wear for New Year's Eve. So yeah, those were all the pieces from Naked. This is like one of my favorite hauls I have ever done without a doubt. Um, so many like classic neutral pieces, which of course is right up my street. But yeah, I will link everything below and my code is um, lilyc20 for 20% off. It's cold outside.